Hello everyone, uh, this is an unexpected uh, video today. I didn't plan to do that so quickly. Actually, I was planning to do a video, the follow-up of what I started before, which is collage on glass. These uh, little things that I have not finished yet. And also I had a little surprise for you in the same video, I thought that it was going to make you laugh. At least it makes me laugh, so hopefully it will make you laugh. I'm not going to tell you what it is because you will see in my next video. I'm just going to show you a little piece. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to show you more. You will see in my next video, in my next arts and crafts video. So why I'm doing a video right now, it's because Suits has been released on Netflix, obviously everybody is talking about that. What most people don't know is that uh, Suits was already on uh, Prime Video, which is the platform by Amazon. I have Prime with Amazon, so automatically I have Prime Video. And uh, I've been watching Suits since a while on Prime Video. So why did I watch Suits? Honestly, at the beginning, it was just because uh, Meghan Markle was playing on it and I was curious, as everyone. <laughs> I wanted to see what kind of actress she was and if she, if, she, if she was giving me the same feeling as when I'm watching her uh, with Harry. I, I just wanted to know. I think that even if someone is playing a role, it's not the person, it's not herself who is in suits. I mean, yes, it's her, but it's not her character. But I, I still think that we can guess a little of the personality of each actor by watching them or her in this situation so it was only out of curiosity really because usually the series i like series i really like watching series but usually i'm more i like more comedies so something about lawyers usually i cringe because everything which is corporate I don't like it, not only in series, in, even in the real life. I mean, uh, corporate situations, uh, places, uh, companies, I, I, I don't like that. But I was still interested because I studied economics when I, I was a student. I was studying economics and we do a lot of laws, in, especially business laws uh, in uh, economics. Uh, actually, not only business laws, a lot of laws. Uh, my my older son almost was born in a class uh, where we were studying uh, tax laws. So <laughs> I had to leave the class to go to give birth. <laughs> so I wouldn't say I was into laws. I had to learn laws because I was studying economics and actually I have a bachelor degree in economics and then also I studied uh, accountancy and still uh, and again there is a lot of laws in the accountancy and uh, the studies that I was doing then in France in Paris a very long time ago but it's not because I studied that that I love that if I had changed the direction of my studies, I could have become a lawyer. Actually, many of my friends in the, the university were, became lawyers. Fortunately for me, I didn't go there. I think that uh, maybe I would be a good lawyer, but it would be hard on me. So watching a series about laws and about lawyers was not the most exciting thing for me. <laughs> Honestly, it was purely because of Meghan. Not that, that I am such a big fan of Meghan Markle. I really like her, but uh, I, I was just curious. I thought, okay, I'm going to watch uh, two, three episodes and I will know how she looks when she's playing. And then if I don't like it, that's fine. Yes, but the problem, there is a problem because as soon as you start watching suits you cannot stop because 
the scenario, the, the, the story is made by such a way that as soon as it starts, you feel, how I would say that, anxious, <laughs> not a good thing to be anxious, but still, you feel worried about what is going to happen to the main character, who is Michael. I'm not going to tell you why, because I don't want to spoil the, the series for you. you. You must watch. But it's insane. <laughs> it's completely insane. It's impossible to find this kind of situation in the real life. Maybe some people try do that, but I don't think that it can last a very long time because it's... I don't see how it can really happen in the real life. No, <laughs> it's very difficult because I want to explain, but I cannot. I don't want to spoil the series for you, so you should watch it. And you know, as soon as I started watching, I didn't even think about Megan and how she played and all that. I didn't care anymore. I was completely taken in the story and I couldn't stop watching. And I was like, uh, honestly, you know, I was watching that in the evening while having my dinner. But honestly, it's very difficult to fall asleep on this kind of series because it's really uh, it gives some kind of anxiety sometimes and um, it's not good to fall asleep on that so usually i was coming from suits and switching on the gilmore girls because you know the gilmore girls i know that by heart now so gilmore girls is great to fall asleep but suits, no, <laughs> you cannot. Actually, usually I was watching maybe two or three episodes every evening. Not more because at a point it's really, yes, it gives me anxiety somehow. Um, n not because it's terrible, but because there is a lot of suspense and it's some situations are really very difficult. I want to say that all the actors who are playing in it are excellent. All. Even the smallest character, the smallest role is incredible. I was really pleased to watch that. Even if I was anxious, I was pleased to have found this series because that is really a good series, incredibly well written. The story is crazy. The legal matters sometimes make sense to me, sometimes don't make totally sense to me, but maybe because I don't really know very well the American law, so maybe there are things that I don't know. Probably there are things that I don't know. I don't know the American law, so there are things that sometimes I don't quite understand from a legal point of view. But some things, I would say most, most of the time, I get it. I, I, I get the problem. I understand what is the problem what is possible to do, what is not possible to do. Probably they were helped by people who are working in the law uh, to give them the right thing to say, because <clears throat> it's not obvious. Sometimes it's really very deep in the law. So, But it was very interesting. A lot of suspense, very entertaining and very... Uh, we, we can let it go. We, we have to know what's next, what's next, what's next. So I forgot a little about Megan. Not that she doesn't play well. She, she plays really well. I told you, they all play really well. Very good actors. I completely forgot that it was Megan Markle. For me, it was Rachel Zane, the, the paralegal who... Can I say that? I don't want to spoil. Anyway, she's going to become a, a lawyer at a point. Very interesting. But what I found even more interesting is the fact that I saw a parallel 
something identical between what is happening in the series, the characters, and what happened to Meghan and Harry. 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 We say Harry. Which is strange because the series was before Harry and Meghan. So it's not like the series was copying what was happening to Meghan in her real life because all what happened to Meghan in the real life related to the royals happened next. So it's very strange that we have some similarities between the both. And I did a list. Uh, I, I was taking notes. So I watched the series twice on uh, uh, Video Prime, on Prime Video, sorry, on uh, Prime Video. And then now, right now, I'm watching it for the third time on Netflix. So why so much? Uh, it's not because I'm a stalker and I want to watch <laughs> Meghan Markle all the time. No, no. It's because uh, English is not my first language. And I, I know that sometimes when I watch again, there are things that I understand that I didn't understand at the beginning. Maybe, or maybe things that I didn't pay attention and... Uh, when I watch that again, suddenly I pay attention and I, I, I'm like, uh, oh, oh, I didn't hear that. So it's a new information for me. So for me, when it's in English, I always watch several times the Gilmore Girls. I, I, I watch them maybe, I don't know, <laughs> hundred times until I knew all the dialogues by heart almost. Uh, because I wanted to learn English and as they speak really fast, it was a very good exercise for me. Here they are not especially speaking really fast, I don't think so, but there are things that I didn't completely understand first time and now I'm at the third time and I'm still discovering things. So I don't know if I will watch more than three times because uh, it's heavy, <laughs> it's really heavy. So I'm going to try to be as fast as possible. I made a list of all the similitudes, the, the similarities, sorry, I don't know, similitude we say in French, I don't know if in English this word exists, similarities, parallel, things which are a little the same as in the real life. Some things are, okay, other things are incredible. It's incredible. So I'm going to read. I'm sorry, I cannot <laughs> memorize everything. I have to read and I will try to be as fast as possible. So my video is not going to be too long. Also, when it's a spoiler alert, I will tell you because there are things I have to tell you. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. So I will tell you if you don't want to know, just... Uh, go a little further on my video but I'm trying to keep the things as neutral as possible so you won't know much about the series so you will be able to discover when you are watching it uh, if you are watching it of course nobody is forced to anything first thing about the characters I'm going only to give you the names of the characters not of the actors because I don't know all the names of the actors you can find that on wikipedia on google it's easy to find so yes the names of the characters and harry harry and megan so you must know that megan is playing the role of rachel zane and actually megan her f first name is rachel so her name is rachel megan markle so that's funny that she has the same first name in the series and in the real life. I don't know if the people who wrote the story did that purposely. I don't know, uh, but uh, I found that I found that funny. Something about Harry and Mike. So Mike is almost the main character. There are two main characters. There is Mike, but there is also Harvey. I think they are both the main characters. Also, I would say Donna, Jessica, 
uh, Rachel, um, Louis are very important characters, but there are other ones also in the series who are really very important characters. I think that nobody is not important in the series. That's what is interesting. Okay, so Harry and Mike, the actor, they both are Virgo in the real life. And you know, I'm telling that, I'm saying that because I'm a Virgo. I recognize a Virgo. Very often I recognize a Virgo, not always, but very often. And uh, I knew that Harry was a Virgo. I didn't recognize that with him, but when I read Spare, I discovered that he was a Virgo. And the actor, Mike, I thought this guy must be a Virgo. I don't know why. Yes, I know why. Because he looks like a friend of mine, a French friend of mine, who is a Virgo. So I thought maybe he's a Virgo too. And actually he is a Virgo. <laughs> so that is, I found that strange that Megan in the series has a Virgo guy around her and in the real life, her husband is a Virgo. I found that interesting. In the series, Rachel has a long uh, professional experience uh, before becoming a lawyer. She's a paralegal and she worked a long time in that company, in the, the, that practice. In the real life, Megan had a long professional experience as an actress and also in charity works uh, before working for the firm, the Royal, before working for the Royals. So that's interesting that both of them, I mean, Rachel and Megan, uh, the both Rachels, I would say, they both had a very interesting and long professional history. So this one is less important. Rachel at a point wants to live in Iceland. That's what she's saying. So when she said, I want to live in Iceland, I thought about the North Pole. Actually, Iceland and the North Pole are not close. <laughs> they are very far from each other. But I found that funny that she was speaking of Iceland when Harry was going to the North Pole. And uh, Mike in the series, wants to live in San Diego, in California. And actually, Harry and Meghan moved to California. So that is not really very important. Similar evolution between Harry and Mike. Mike is super intelligent, incredible memory. He reads once, understands, and never forget. Harry has a visual memory. They both had drugs during their youth. It's worse for Mike. <laughs> for Harry, it's not that terrible. For Mike, it's, it's much more than that. I'm not going to say what exactly. You will see by watching the series. In the series, Mike takes tests for others, low tests. Harry does the work for others. When Harry was working for the royals, he was very often doing the work and it was someone else who got the credit for it. If you read Spare, if you read Spare, you will know everything you have to know. I believe Harry, because it's a very sincere book. Everything is not great for him. He's very straightforward, I would say. <laughs> Mike becomes the super gifted heroes. Harry became the super gifted heroes. Mike becomes relevant with time and after a very hard episode. So I'm sorry, I cannot give you the detail because otherwise I'm going to spoil the series for you, but you will understand what I'm saying. Harry is becoming more and more relevant after a very hard period. Both leaves their home to live their lives with their wives. So when I say home, I'm not talking about the home when you live with your parents. I mean, they both leave their cities. For Harry, it's even his country because he left UK to go to live in, uh, in US, in the US, in California more exactly. Well, you know that Meghan left the series because she got married and she had to 
leave the series. Mike goes with her. So they leave the city, they leave New York. Uh, it's supposed to happen in New York, but it was actually a shot in Toronto. But it's supposed to be New York. Mike defends children suffering from lead poisoning. Harry defends all the spares of his family to protect them from the nastiness poisoning. So that is maybe a little complicated, uh, this view, <laughs> but it crossed my mind. So it means that we think about that when we watch the series. Yes, in Suits, they speak a lot about what it is to be a successful black woman, especially regarding Jessica. So, yes, the, the, the fact to be a woman of color is coming several times in the series. And of course, it reminded me the fact that uh, Megan uh, has been badly treated because she's a woman of color. And it, it, it crossed my mind, of course, and it's somehow well explained in the series, even though it didn't happen yet for Megan when it was shot. That's what is interesting. It's not something which happens only to Megan. It happens to any woman of color and, uh, and not only women of color also. It depends on the origins that you have. Mike doesn't compromise and rarely agree on settling. He doesn't want settlements. He always wants to go to trial to get the maximum for the victims of criminal behavior. It reminds me of someone. So yes, Harry, he could have accepted a settlement with the tabloids, but he didn't want. He wanted to go to trial to help the people who have suffered what he suffered, but anonymous who don't have the means to pay for a trial. He did that not only for him, but chiefly for them. It's exactly, it's exactly what Mike is doing. So in the series, Rachel has one parent white and one parent black, except that it's the contrary. Um, in the series, Rachel, her mother is white and her father is black. In the real life, it's the contrary. Yes, so uh, something which has nothing to do with the comparison. If you watch the series, check the musics at the end of each episode. Not every episode, but some episodes have very good music at the end. I, for example, heard the Black Sabbath song Changes. I'm not a big fan of uh, Ozzy Osbourne and wife and daughter and... Uh, I'm not interested in these people, but when I was a teenager, I just loved this song by Black Sabbath, Changes. And to hear it in the series, it was surprising and pleasant to me. Uh, but it's not the only song that we can hear. I'm not sure if it's the original, because I didn't recognize the original versions, but it's a very good version. They have a very good choice of music, so if you are interested in music, watch Suits because you are going to find very good music, especially at the end of the episodes. As I was saying, not every episode, but many episodes have very good music. An interesting one. Rachel sends Mike to answer the journalist questions about the profile article because it's about him. So she doesn't want to be in the middle because it's not about her, it's about him. And I see a parallel with Spare because when Spare was released, Harry went to do the promotion of the book. And everybody, a lot of people were saying, why Megan is not with him? Uh, they are separated. Uh, she doesn't care about his book or I don't know what stupid things. And no, it's just that Spare has been written, well, has been written by a ghostwriter, but also with the, the help of Harry, of course. The ghostwriter wouldn't have all, all the stories inside without uh, Harry saying the stories. So it was his book. Megan had no reason to go to do the promotion of Harry's book. And uh, in the series, it's exactly the same thing which happens. But Spare was not released yet when this happened in the series. That's why it's interesting. 
there is a character in the series named Louis. I don't remember the name of the actor, but I knew this actor. I saw him in another series where he was a broker. That's how I knew this actor. And he's an excellent actor. He has a very difficult role in this series. He's not bad, but he's not very nice always. He's uh, sometimes bad, sometimes nice, but he's a very interesting character. And he, he's funny also sometimes. And he said about Harvey, he's a cross between... So he says that to his uh, therapist. He says, Harvey is a cross between Marlon Brando and Superman. And it made me laugh because it's exactly that. It's exactly that. The, the actor who plays Harvey is a very good actor. His name is Gabriel Mart. I really like this actor. Harvey is really good. And he's exactly a cross between Marlon Brando and Superman. And what is interesting is that Mike, along the series, more you go to the end, more Mike is becoming more and more like Harvey, becoming more and more like a mix of Marlon Brando and Superman. But Harvey is becoming more and more like Mike. And in the real life, Harry, he's not a mix of Marlon Brando and Superman, but he's becoming Superman for sure. So when Louis said that, I thought about Harry. Superman came to my mind about Harry. A good one. A very important one. Similarity which is absolutely incredible. Mike was raised by his grandmother. Harry was raised by his father, but also by his grandmother, the Queen Elizabeth. And Mike, in the series, lost his parents in a car accident. Harry lost his mother in a car accident. That is absolutely incredible. It's the first idea which came to my mind about the similarities. And how could they know? Because that is at the beginning of the series, we know that. Megan didn't even know Harry then. So it's not like if they were copying Harry. No, that's incredible. So in the series, Mike and Rachel were scared all the time because of Mike's secret. So I'm not going to tell you what is Mike's secret. <laughs> there is a secret and that's why it's so, it gives so much anxiety because this situation is so crazy, you know, that you are anxious when you are watching that. So they are scared all the time and we are scared with them. <laughs> By watching the series, we are completely scared. They have to fight and to hide all the time. <laughs> and when it changes, they are fighting to defend the powerless people. So it's crazy because Rachel, the character, had to fight and to hide in the series. And once the series was over for Megan, she had to fight and to hide. <laughs> <laughs> in your real life. I'm laughing, but it's not funny. It's like if the story was written in the series where she was playing, and then in the real life, she was experiencing partly a part of the story that she just played in the series. I found that really interesting. I don't know what you think about it, but... And I'm sure that if you watch the series, you are going to find other similarities that I didn't notice. Let me know if you find something else. Mike, in the series, Mike is starting a class action to defend innocent victims. Harry started a class action to defend innocent victims. Mike and Rachel, in the series, help the poor people as lawyers working pro bono. Megan and Harry are working to help poor people <laughs> by working pro bono, maybe not as lawyers, but they have a charity organization and they are helping the poor people. They are helping the people in need. Yes, yeah, so this one is a little less important. In the series, uh, Rachel's father is also a lawyer. Like Megan, 
in real life uh, because uh, Megan's father was in the movie industry also because he was a lighting director. Well, she was an actress. She, she, yes, she was an actress, but they were working in the same field. So I found that interesting also. So in the series, there is a scene where Harvey and Mike are being recorded by Louis while they are talking. And right away, I thought about Harry having his phone hacked. It's a detail, but it's also surprising. Okay, another one. I'm sorry, I have to talk about it, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to say as little as possible. Rachel and Mike get married at the end of the series. Rich, uh, not at the end of the series, at the end of when Megan is leaving the, the series. So I think that she's leaving at the end of the seventh season, I think. And it lasts, the total is nine seasons. So she missed two seasons. So Rachel and Mike get married and run away to Seattle on the West Coast for a project about helping people who can't afford a lawyer. So basically, <laughs> Harry and Meghan, they, they left to the West Coast too of the United States, except that it's not Seattle, it's more close to Los Angeles. Montecito is not Los Angeles. I hear people saying, oh, they are in Los Angeles. No, they are not in Los Angeles, they are in Montecito. Montecito is more Santa Barbara, it's a little more north, it's not, it's not in Los Angeles County. So we must stop with Los Angeles and Hollywood and all that. It's ridiculous. They are not living in Hollywood. They are not living in Los Angeles. They are living in Montecito. But it's still California and it's still the West Coast. And they are helping people. So sorry for spoiling the series, but yes, they get married at the end of Megan in the series. There is also something very interesting. All the actors, there is a big solidarity uh, between the characters in the series, but also between the actors outside of the series. In the real life, they are very like that. I mean, they are very friendly with each other. They really like each other. They really support each other. They supported Megan a lot uh, when she had all this trouble. And even now, they are very nice with her. In the series, Mike has Harvey and Donna like, I wouldn't say like parents, but like a big sister and big brother. And it's a little what happened to Harry when he went to Africa, I think. In spare, he goes to Africa and uh, there are a couple there who are behaving a little like parents for Harry. So it's another similarities that I didn't write, but it came back to my mind because I was thinking about Harvey and uh, Donna, who are excellent characters, excellent actors. I love Jessica. Jessica is a woman of color who is uh, the main manager of the practice at the beginning of the series. And... Uh, a big part of the series, I would say. They are all excellent. All. They are all excellent. Kudos to the one, to the people who wrote the scenario because, wow, I would have never thought of such a story. It's the first time that I see something like that, which is completely absurd. Sometimes I was watching that and I was thinking, but the situation is absurd. How is it possible? It's, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's completely crazy. So that's what is interesting because you are in the corporate world where everybody is well dressed and make a lot of money. It's very serious subjects. And the story is completely insane and crazy. And I love that. <laughs> I love when it's crazy. So regarding the news about Harry and Meghan, I watched 
Baron, uh, whereas the sex and other channels that I really like to be uh, informed about what is happening. But you know all the stories about Spotify, for example. I don't care. I'm actually really glad that they left Spotify. I, I don't like Spotify. I, I closed my account a very long time ago. I hated this platform and I'm glad that I left. So I'm really glad that they left too, <laughs> because hopefully they will go somewhere else. And as their podcasts belong to them, maybe I will have the possibility to watch and to listen to the podcast somewhere else. I suppose that if they left, they had a very good reason to leave. Anyway, what they are doing in their business and how they are handling it and what decision they take. I think it's not up to us to decide for them or to say if it's good or bad. I think that they know what they are doing. They are adults and they are responsible and they are not stupid. And we know nothing about what is going on in Montecito. As says Baron, there is no leak in Montecito. So <laughs> we don't know what is going on and we cannot judge of the situation because we don't have the, the information. We know nothing. So it makes me laugh when I see some people giving their opinion about what they should have done and what they could have done and why it was better like this and like that. And it's ridiculous. Regarding Dior, uh, that made me laugh. <laughs> Maybe Dior now is going to think of <laughs> asking Megan to represent their brand. Finally, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> yes, the rumor was that Megan uh, finally was refused by Dior, but the contract never existed in the first place. So <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> Of course, someone at the, your company said, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but we didn't sign anything. So <laughs> we, we never thought about it, but maybe now they are going to think about it. <laughs> he didn't say that. He just said that there was no agreement between Megan and Dior and that was a lie. I'm a, a little tired of the channels who are commenting by a so-called nice way and actually it's not so nice so be very careful about what you are listening to and what you are watching be careful because sometimes people are you don't know their motivations you don't know so as usually i will write the list of the channel that i'm trusting and that i'm watching but if you don't like these channels or if you are not interested, you don't have to watch. I mean, it's not mandatory. It's just to give you an idea of uh, people you can trust. When I hear something negative, I don't want that in my life. I unfollow. I just don't want that in my life. So if I was following someone who suddenly becomes negative, I unfollow and that's it. You don't have to force yourself to listen to bad things. One last thing, my older son is going to come very soon to visit me for two weeks, during two weeks. I'm very happy because I have not seen my son, my older son, since a very long time. So he's coming with my grandsons. My I have two grandsons who are two little boys. I'm very happy to see them. They will be at home with me. And we are going to probably visit things. So I'm going to film, not my grandsons or my son, because they want their privacy too. Uh, I'm going to film things that I see if it's interesting. I will put everything in a video and at a point I will release it. I don't know when, but I will film as much as I can because usually I work the whole day inside in my office and uh, I don't see much. So if I have the opportunity to see something interesting in Los Angeles, you know how much I love Los Angeles. And uh, no, I don't work for Hollywood. <laughs> we can live in Los Angeles without being a part of Hollywood. <laughs> I don't work for Hollywood at all. 
<laughs> I'm not interested in Hollywood. Hollywood is just a, a part of Los Angeles. There are other people who live in Los Angeles who do something which has nothing to do with Hollywood. Anyway, you know how much I love Los Angeles. I will film anything that I find interesting in Los Angeles to show you because if you are not here, you cannot see it. And I like to show what is interesting, especially the beach. <laughs> I love the beach. I love the beach in Los Angeles, Venice Beach, Santa Monica Beach. I love that. I see you very soon. Maybe not right now because my son is going to come. But believe me, you are going to have the video, the follow up of what I was doing. And the funny thing that I want to show you you will have it. I don't know when, but you will have it. And I see you very soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, subscribe and click on the bell so you will be notified when I release a new video. Thank you for watching if you arrived so far <laughs> and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.